Well, it's time to head back into Patrick's garden. And tonight, we're fixing the eyesores, right? Yeah, I got a lot of them in my house. <laughs> Me I'm too. Trying to get them one by one, but kind of thought of a couple of neat ideas that may okay. be covering up some things that we probably don't want other people to see as much. So gotcha. here we go with one of them. Every now and then you'll find what we call an eyesore around our house, something that we kind of want to cover up. And I tell you what, here is one of the perfect things called a cross vine that will cover up the little eyesore that you have. And I'm going to show you what eyesore I have at my house here that we're going to try to cover it up with. This is mine. It's the electric meter that's on the front side of the house. So I want something to try to cover it, especially in the summertime months where we see lots of company and try to enjoy lots of outdoor activities. I went ahead and purchased a trellis so that our climbing shrub will have a nice guide to climb up to kind of cover up our nice little eyesore. Now it's time to place your climbing shrub near the trellis and near your eyesore, whether it's a mandevilla like this or a cross vine or maybe a climbing rose or, or a confederate jasmine. Uh, in the next few weeks, you'll see it start to climb and eventually run up that trellis and hopefully by midsummer it'll be covering up that big eyesore that we've seen all winter. Always a good idea. And it is climbing, so I'm happy about that. Fantastic. And tonight we want to say congratulations to Trisha Dodson. You've won the Leland yes. Cypress that Patrick has here. It's That's nice. something that grows pretty quickly and it, it can cover up eyesores, yeah, right? Yeah, about two feet a year. And right now at Glass Farm, believe it or not, this is $9.99. Oh, wow. So great weekend to pick up something, maybe to cover up an eyesore <laughs> He's like me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'd never do that. But of course, congratulations to Trisha Dodson. Just head over to the Glass Farm Nursery. Mm -hmm. It's on Highway 11, just four miles south. The Trenton, you don't even have to pay the $9.99. You get to want to win it, but mm -hmm. of course, stay tuned. Next week, we're going to have another giveaway, and in two weeks, we're heading back into Patrick's Garden. We will. We may have something to look at vegetable wise. Ooh, looking forward to that. But in the meantime, stay with us. More Prime News at 7 is coming up.